Good evening and welcome to Bonner Springs. We're at the Braves Fieldhouse. Tonight's Ivy High School game of the week. We got a conference battle, the Frontier League against the UKC in a good 5A boys matchup. Number 12, DeSoto, is at Bonner Springs. Kevin White, Dion Clisso, and our analyst will be Michael Watson. And Michael, these two teams have designs on going to Emporia for the state tournament. Tonight's game gonna be like a sub-state game. Both these teams feel like they've got the goods to go to Emporia. Well, this is a proven point right now as you got the last few ball games of the season. This will be a good test for both teams. Time now for the high V player profile. This guy went for 26, eight rebounds, eight steals, and five assists on the road in Topeka. David Coben, the junior guard. Yeah, DC, he got them goods out there. Can't get any shot on the floor inside or out. He's going to be a low for Bonner Springs tonight. And then Cameron Doss averaging 20 points per game. Going to try to rival him. Yeah, Cameron Doss. That's going to be a great matchup on both ends of the floor. I'm sure they'll guard each other. He's also an inside-out player. So quick and strong and can stretch the floor from deep. DeSoto on the road taking on Bonner Springs. It's the High V High School Game of the Week. Lineups and tip-off right after this. The game of the week is brought to you by Hy-Vee, proud to support Kansas City High School Athletics. Bonner Springs is the place we're at tonight in Wyandotte County. And DeSoto makes the trip over in an interconference matchup. DeSoto 16 and two, won Tuesday night at Topeka West. David Coben had that huge game, the 26 points, eight steals, eight rebounds, and five assists game. And Bonner Springs coming in at 12 and five. There's Matt Rice, the DeSoto head coach. He's in his 14th year, former Olathe South Falcon. And then went on to play with MNU, Mid-American Nazarene University under Rocky Lamar. Dan Strite is the Bonner Springs head coach, been the head coach since 2012. And he'll be coaching his son, Kalen, tonight. He's one of the guards, a junior. His lineup will be uh, Strike, Graham, Cruz, Doss, and Caldwell. They're in the home whites. DeSoto in the road green. Johnson, Hicks, Ogden, Lang, and David Coben. And your officials for this interconference matchup. Isaac Gardner, Jerry Glavin, and also Jackson Powers, and early three let go by Cruz. No good. Nice offensive rebound by Bonner, and the ball is gonna be tied up. Arrow over to DeSoto. Possession arrow favors DeSoto. And that was Wyatt Caldwell with some good battling underneath. Kind of an undersized post player for Bonner. And a early three spinning off the iron. No good by Nick Ogden. Michael, these teams both feel like this is going to be like a sub-state level game tonight. Here's Cruz driving and drawing the foul. Tavian Cruz, the senior forward to shoot two. Well, Cruz, the, one of the bigger players out there for Bonner Springs, but he's able to put the ball on the floor very well. That time getting to the hoop and drawing the foul. Cruz, a 64% foul shooter. But it's a uh, three-man group when you look at the scouting report because this guy, he averages 17. Kalen Strite, the coach's son, was 17 per game, and then 20 for Doss. Those are the three guys you got to slow down if you're playing Bonner Springs, who lost a week ago at home against Ottawa, but they won seven of their last eight, so they've been a hot team. Johnson, corner pass, and a three. Coming up short, but a nice offensive rebound by Coben. As that was Blake Hicks who couldn't connect from three. And now Coben driving. No good. And back come the Braves. And stumbling and losing the ball out of bounds is Wyatt Caldwell, but they say it was last touch by DeSoto. Yeah, Caldwell kind of got caught from behind by Coben. Luckily, 
to remain possession with the Braves. And a five count on the coach's son. Strike talking to his teammates. I think he needed a little more movement there. Let's check in with our sideline reporter. Here's Dion Clisso. Well, Kale Strike wins the sock game for this year. He has Ritz cracker socks on tonight. I had some Ritz crackers last night with the leftover cheese ball from the Super Bowl, so it makes me hungry to have some more when I go home tonight. Over is always a good thing as a cheese ball, though, Dion. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> that cheese isn't going bad if it stays. The game was Friday. Sunday, bro. Yeah. Like. You still eat on the same cheese ball from Sunday? Oh, yeah. It'll work. That must be a French cheese ball. Like, you know, that, that's straight from France, man. And Wildcats to play it in. Looks like a zone defense. David. Yeah, well, 2 3 zone for Bonner Springs. Here's Trent Johnson. Yeah, good job by Trent Johnson. Put it on the floor. You don't have to outshoot a zone. You can. Put it on the floor that time, Johnson able to get that floater in the lane. Oh, some nasty moves there by uh, Goss. And then the rejection at the rim by Nick Ogden, the 6'3 junior. Yeah, Nick Ogden and blocked it with his left hand, too. Initial really good crossover up top, but here, eh, not tonight, little fella. Get that out of here. And now Strike. Lost his footing. Cobbin, layup good and one. David Cobbin. We'll take a look at his strike, kind of right here. His foot, right, oh, kind of twists his ankle and loses his footing. Here's Cobbin taking the contact, still able to finish. He'll go to the line and try to complete the three-point play. Foul on Cruz is his first. David averages 16 points, was all league. Already got an offer from Mid-American Nazarene University. That's because his coach, Matt Rice, was a former player there. Got the inside connection. Here's Cruz attacking and a floater. Dancing in, Tavian Cruz. Yeah, Cruz, strong player on the inside, able to finish. In rhythm, uh -oh. the three is home by Trent Johnson. Yeah, Trent Johnson, he looked, he had a, a few glances over at the student section for Bonner Springs. Excellent student is Johnson. Also the homecoming Ooh. king and Doss with a fade and fire. His first field goal. And sweeping and scoring. And that's Jaden Lang, the smooth sophomore, with a chance at the three-point play as they'll get called well with his first foul. Well, no, his second, I beg your pardon. Taking the contact and finishing with the right hand. Strong move to the bucket. Caldwell is going to have to sub out with those two fouls. And Patrick Price checking in as you take a look at Lang. And he completes the three-point play. Averaging 10 points, three rebounds. Football wing back in the fall. Here's Cruz trying to play it to a teammate. Turnover, Braves. Lang stop and go. And his pass intercepted by Doss. And now the ball's poked from him. One of his Bonner teammates. And there's Jermaine Wilson who's checked in the game. Oh, tough shot and a foul underneath. Whistled on DeSoto. It'll be on Baylor Bell, the junior, his first. Free throws coming here for Patrick Price, the junior guard. Fifty-nine percent foul shooter, averaging two points per game off the bench. First points of the game. And the lead down to three. DeSoto swept the series last year. Drive and kick. 
Three coming up short for Hicks. Offensive rebound, another possession. And Lang with a smooth floater. This guy makes it look easy. Uh, great job. And that's a turnover on the play. And the Braves. Force. Yep. Frustrating for the Braves to have a backcourt turnover. Say they need to play disciplined basketball tonight, and that's not disciplined basketball. Cobbin finds a cutting Lang. Skip it to the corner. And Bell attacking the rim. Baylor Bell. Well, they're just getting whatever they want at the rim. The defense for the Braves not showing up so far in this first quarter. Soto number 12 in the top 25, 8-10 varsity poll. Like a zone defense. Well, maybe not. Uh, man to man defense. Man, man, but okay. They do a lot, a great job of keeping it out the paint. Strike with a scoop. Comes up short. Cobbin the rebound. Cobbin gets six rebounds per game for a little guard that he is. Bell lost the handle out of bounds. That'll be a turnover to Soto as the ball slipped out of his hands. And now Blake Miller going to check in as. Bell acknowledges it's my fault there on the turnover. Well, the Braves got to get something going offensively. A lot of standing around, kind of waiting for things to happen. You got to go make something happen offensively. Strike. It's a Tough fadeaway. shot. Yeah, Cobbin, a nice rebound with a right hand. Finds his teammate underneath who draws the foul with a little ball fake there. That was Blake Miller as the avalanche hit him underneath the rim. See if that's on the shot or on the floor. Uh, on the floor. Didn't even get a chance to get it up while actually trying to pass it out. So 2 3 zone defensively for Bonner out of the out of bounds play. Cobbin open, long three, you betcha. Ooh. David Cobbin. Nice play out the out of bounds, and Cobbin able to knock that one down from deep. This guy had 32 points as his career game. That was in last year's state semifinals, and that was against St. James Academy in a victory. This team got second place at state as they lost in the championship to Topeka Seaman last year. I think people forget about it. Traveling on Bonner Springs and another turnover. So the Braves not having the best of first quarters here. Find themselves down by 10. Soto, good ball movement by this team. Bell off the mark on a three. And the rebound, pinballs around, and the Wildcats will keep it as they'll get a floater up. And the basket was no good anyway. Miller will be called for a charge. Blake Miller, the junior guard, his first foul. Well, Patrick Price, I mean, he was all over on that possession. He tried to take the charge about three different times. And this last one finally got it. Just coming underneath the offensive player. Could have gone the other way as, as well. Cruz back to Price. Banks too strong. But Cruz right there with a rebound and put back. Yeah, so strong. Able to grab that one over the top of the offensive player and put it back. Cruz, a good looking player. Soto playing with a lot of confidence, winning at Topeka West Tuesday night. They've won the UKC this year. 62-53 was the ball oh, game. Nice Great pass. pass, as that was Bell finding Trent Johnson. Oh, man, what a pass, but an even better cut by Johnson. Everyone thought Bell was going to shoot that one, dropped it off for a bucket. Boy, this team passes it so well. State runners up last year. But only had two starters back, but once you get a taste of the state tournament, you want to go back as we go back to the DeSoto passing.
that led to an easy deuce for Trent Johnson. Well, watch this. He raises up like he's initially going to shoot it. Everyone reacts, and Johnson continued to move without the ball, able to get the bucket. Ten games in a row, DeSoto has won. 16 and two, tied for first. And now the ball is out of bounds at the baseline. And we've got a whistle and a foul. It's going to be on Kalik Rainey, who's just checked in the ball game. Just into the ball game and in the scorebook with a foul and free throws awarded to Blake Hicks. Blake. Play shortstop on the baseball team. They went to state last spring. Sixth man on their state runner up team. Now a starter this year is the senior guard, Blake Hicks. Big lead of the ball game at 12 for the Wildcats. Inside, Cruz, back out. There's Rainey's three as he reigns in his first bucket. It is a three-pointer from the left wing, Kalik Rainey. Well, that's a good job by Rainey, setting his feet, taking his time, and knocking that down the must-needed bucket for the Braves. Yeah, they'd gone cold. Now Cobbin, they say he's such a uh, high basketball IQ, super smart with the basketball. Bell. Open three at the buzzer. It's no good. And an impressive first quarter for the visitors from DeSoto as they lead it 22-13 after one on the High V High School Game of the Week. Welcome back to Bonner Springs. We're at the Braves Fieldhouse, which is part of the uh, Bonner YMCA. And a first quarter that really DeSoto, their great passing, shot it pretty well, and uh, they start nine points up to start the second quarter, Michael. Well, they're doing a great job of getting into the lane. Dribble penetration is really killing Bonner Springs right now. They're going to do well and do better defensively keeping DeSoto out of the paint. Well, the one thing that caught my eye with DeSoto, Michael, uh, they hosted a tournament early in the year, and they lost to Oak Park in the championship game, 51-47. I went, Oak Park? They're one of the best teams in the whole city. These guys must be pretty good. I know the ball game was at DeSoto, but that's when I said, whoa, this DeSoto team might be the real deal, and they are. As here's Cobbin down the baseline, great passing again. This team uh, really is a great passing of the basketball team. They do a great job of the pivot and, and push. Yes, travel Traveling right is the call as Mike Miller kind of lost his footing there and he gets the uh, turnover. The Braves with strike, Price. Rainey, Cruz, and Doss. Home team in white. Main color is orange as Cruz falling down finds Rainey. Cobbin, great rebounding guard, rips away the rebound. Uh oh. David. Man. Money. Man, he has a nice looking stroke. It is automatic. It's compact. It there's is. There's nothing Perfect herky form. jerky or anything. He just so smooth. Cruz with an answer. Uh -oh. Right back, baby. Cruz knocking it down from deep. But we've seen him go inside and now stepping out to knock down from three. Cruz is Bonner's leading scorer now with that three, has nine. Well, now David feeling it. Comes up a little short on that three pointer. Here's Doss in the open floor, had it knocked free. I think Lang separated him from the ball. And Ooh. now Miller hits the deck hard and is fouled Then will shoot two. Rainey will draw the Bonner foul. Well, Cobbin right here. Watch his catch and shoot, no hesitation. It's just up and down, nice stroke, but then Cruz coming back on the other end, stepping out the 6'2 senior. 
with an answer right there on from deep. Miller comes off the bench averaging six points two rebounds. And he connects on a pair. The lead back to 11 for DeSoto. Winners of the UKC as of earlier this week. Their win at Topeka West. 13 and one in conference play in that very heavy populated UKC and now a turnover. As it's like Cruz and Strite were on the same page. And goes back to DeSoto. They lead by 11. Two minutes deep into your second quarter. Coming up, it's Hy-Vee at the half. Numbers and highlights brought to you by your employee-owned Hy-Vee stores. DeSoto girls winners tonight on the road. 59-53 over Bonner Springs. Addison Tower. 26 career high points. Played inside. Ogden powers up a shot. No. And now the Braves in the front court quickly. Doss stop and go. And oh, he scores. Cameron nice. Doss. So nice. So low to the ground. So when he changes direction, it's hard to catch up. That time finishing with a nice floater. He is very quick. Also a track athlete, averaging 20 points per game. Lang, not this time, Cruz the rebound. And now Doss, always so quick, as his favorite player is LeBron James. Wants to go to a Juco and then eventually do a Division I strike from deep. And Johnson flying in with a rebound. Now the steal by Rainey. Ill-advised pass, Kalik to the rim, no. And in the corner, it's a battle, and they say last touch by Kalik Rainey. It'll be DeSoto ball. Well, and now they call the foul on Kalik. I yeah, got a foul. He, that's his third, too. That's a big foul. Misses the shot and tries to get back on the hustle. Well, yeah, he did hustle, but he uh, slammed Trent Johnson to the sideline, and that'll be his third foul, so Kalik will check out. And Jermaine Wilson back in the Bonner Springs lineup. Seventh team foul. And the homecoming king, Trent Johnson, to shoot a one and one. Second team all league last year. Averages 11 points, five rebounds. At 11 on the road Tuesday at Topeka. He's almost got that already here in the first half as he's got 10. And DeSoto leading by 11. And halfway through the second quarter, Doss trying to answer. Overshot it. And Bonner will keep at the baseline. Cruz. And a travel is called on Tavian Cruz. Bonner's leading score thus far tonight. Trent Johnson. Dribble penetration all night long. They've been able to get shots at the bucket. A big reason they're up yeah. 11. Yeah, they've been getting in the paint a lot. Now Cruz, tough shot. Johnson rebounds. Outlet. Cobbin able to save it. Boy, so smooth is David Cobbin. Oh, Mid-range jumper that is no good by Hicks. And another possession, though, now for this Soto Wildcats team. Kind of snuck up on people, even though they were state runners up last year. And a legal screen is the call on Blake Hicks. That is the first foul on Hicks, trying to screen for a teammate. Brendan Graham in the lineup now for the Braves, will inbound the ball. Braves just need a run. 
Yeah, they need, they need some stuff going to the basket. A lot like DeSoto has been doing tonight, not selling for the outside shot, doing a great job of using the pump fake. A lot of one-on-one -on -one right now, and DeSoto is ready for it. Strike, his pass intercepted, trying to go to the corner. Great defense by the Wildcats. Trying a long outlet to Cobbin, and it goes out of bounds. They say it is DeSoto ball. And now Bonner Springs wants the timeout. Looks like a 30-second timeout for Coach Streit. And coming up next week, Shawnee Heights at Piper. Girls, boys, doubleheader. Conference action. It's part of the UKC there. Bonner Springs cheerleaders rocking out with the band. After the 30-second timeout by the Bonner Braves, let's see, uh, change anything defensively? Nope. Man to man. Ball deflected, stolen by Cruz. Good defensive set there by the Braves who Need a little run before Hyvie at the half. Doss from deep. Nah. Yes, sir. Cameron Doss. That was a big shot right there by Doss. A much needed bucket as well. But then, oh, man, my. Right the back. penetration by Trent Johnson goes with a reverse layup. And it's a three for two possession, but, and then a blocking foul on Blake Hicks, the senior guard. Two fouls on the senior guard. He'll leave the lineup. Blake Miller, one Blake for another. Blake Miller back in the lineup. 11 point lead for the Soto Wildcats. Now the steal, Cobbin on the help defense. What a bullet wow. pass by Cobbin to Lang. Oh my goodness. That, that was a is phenomenal a dime. Pass. Uh oh, I hear you, Kev. That was a <laughs> precision dime. <laughs> and that was about a 40-foot pass, too, Michael. And now Graham spinning, can't hit. Gets it to a teammate. And a foul on Blake Miller. Well, Michael, give us your assessment here. I mean, check this out. The nice deal, but watch this. Whip right there. Had a little English on it as well. I mean, that was a perfect pass. That's probably the best pass we've seen all year. Watch this. Ugh, that's a la Chris Paul right there. That was a nice, nice pass. And free throws awarded to Strite with the second foul on Blake Miller. Strite, a 55% foul shooter. All conference football wide receiver. That's his first points of the game. Lead at 10 with the basketball. Two minutes and some change before Hyvie at the half. Lang gets a step. Can't convert, though. They had kind of a bad angle whether or not to put it off the glass or try to get it over the rim. Kind of overshot it. 10-point lead right now for DeSoto. Well, Bonner, they want to get it down to single digits. Doss driving and drawing another DeSoto foul. Well, such a smart player. As soon as he feels contact, trying to get the shot up. Bell, here's the whistle. That is his second. 18 fouls as here's Cam Doss, 69% foul shooter. Averaging 20 points, two rebounds, three assists, two steals, and leads the team in three-point makes. As 
Some technical difficulties with the horn, it sounds like, is the extended horn on the first free throw, but Doss hits one out of two. He's got eight. Cruz has got nine. That's 17 of their 24. Good ball movement. David Cobbin gets the easy deuce. And Cobbin now with 12. Pass inside Cruz, then plays it back back. out. Strike can't hit from bonus distance. Another great pass by Cobbin finding Trent Johnson. They're just running a fast break clinic in this first half so far. And And now a great defensive play by Miller. Numbers the other way, but Cruz able to get back and intercept it. And the Braves have it back, but they're down by 13 points coming up on halftime. Oh. Some fancy passing. Still need to score, guys. Strite has his pocket picked by Ogden. Yeah, Strite has entirely too many turnovers. I think it's his fourth turnover, his second on the last two possessions. Cobbin thought he was bodied and fouled. Now Lang putting up a shot, and he is fouled. They'll get Jermaine Wilson with the foul, and Jaden Lang to shoot free throws. Two on Wilson. And Lang to shoot two. Well, if you're DeSoto, thinking, okay, the guys won Tuesday night in Topeka. They've got the UKC, but tell you what, They've come with focus and uh, a strong first half. And a 15-point lead on the road against the Bonner Braves. As we're under a minute before Hyvie at the half. Doss inside. They're going to hold for one yep. shot, 12 seconds to go. All right, KD goes with a deep ball. No, still time. And Lang so quick with the basketball, all the way to the other end, coast to coast, and a deuce, and a 17 point lead for DeSoto. Winners of 10 in a row, taking on a Bonner Springs team that had won seven of their last eight, but the first half. Dominated by the winners of the UKC. And Dion has Matt Rice with him, the head coach of DeSoto. Well, Coach, uh, great first half. A lot of runouts on the on the break. But also, aggressively, offensively, you're driving to the basket and getting kickouts, too. You feel like your offense has got to be playing real well at this point. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm really <laughs> pleased with our effort so far, that's for sure. We really wanted to keep... Uh, 15 off the board. She's a great offensive rebounder. Our kids that have been guarding him have done a great job of that. It's allowed us to really get out and run. And you're right, when we get the ball side to side, it's hard to stay in front of us. And our kids are able to get to the basket and kick it out for, to get good looks. They're a good team, so they're going to probably come at you. you got to keep that, that, that same speed and level up, don't you? Oh, absolutely. They're not going to roll over and die on us. They're going to bring their best. We know it. We'll be ready for it. All right, well, good luck the rest of the way. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Dion. Halftime. At the Braves Fieldhouse in Bonner Springs. Big lead for the visitors. Ivy the half coming up next. The game of the week is brought to you by High V. Proud to support Kansas City High School Athletics. That kind of an extended halftime with the Wall of Honor inductees, congratulations to them. Guys out warming up earlier tonight. Girls action, DeSoto rallied and beat Bonner Springs 59-53. And I love when Dion uh, was interviewing uh, Addison Tower at the end of the game. He said, well, you had 26 <laughs> yeah. points. She's like, uh, she was she, shocked. She, yeah, yeah. she didn't even know. And she, was she in came the by, yeah, she came by here and you congratulated her. I, I tell you what, that was the career game, and the DeSoto girls uh, get the victory, 59-53. And 
What should we expect from the second half? I, I feel like Bonner's going to come out and bring it here in the third quarter, but if, you know, if it's not a strong run, it's kind of a half-hearted effort. They may uh, suffer a big loss at home, and you never want that. Yeah, and first three minutes of the third quarter or second half are so essential. They're going to be able to chip away at this lead, but the way DeSoto plays, I mean, they're so up-tempo, up and down the floor, but I'm really impressed with what they do defensively, how they collapse on the ball, how they always have a hand on the ball and in the passing lane. And so if Bonner Springs is going to have any type of chance to get back into this game, they're going to have to match that intensity and that tempo and get a little bit more shot opportunities. And that is difficult against this really good DeSoto team. Let's check in with Dion. Guys, I talked with uh, Coach Strike here just a little bit ago, and he said it's basketball one on one. They got to make more shots to slow down that break and uh, not play one on one, and, and on offense and defense, and get their help side defense better. So, just got to do the right things to get them back in this game. It's going to be a tough road, though. DeSoto's playing real well. It's a good point, and you can't have 12 turnovers in one half and expect to be leading in the ball game. Pepman rocking the house here at the Braves Fieldhouse. Part of the Bonner Springs YMCA. Been here a few times. They got new lights. I believe this is a new floor and new paint job and looks very nice. We're about ready to get the third quarter underway. Soto sending out Johnson, Hicks, Ogden, Lang, and Cobbin. Bonner will counter with Strite, Graham, Cruz, Doss, and Caldwell. It'll be DeSoto ball on the inbounds, and they lead by 17 points. Well, Bonner Springs is going to have to get it done defensively. Cobbin, nice pass there to Ogden. And they will wave off the bucket. No bucket. Strike takes a charge. The foul on Nate Ogden, or Nick Ogden. That was a good job by Strike stepping in, taking that contact, able to sell it, and drawing the charge. Nate was uh, his older brother that played back when they had a uh, big seven-footer that's now at Wyoming. To mentioned to uh, Nick that I did his brother's games. Graham over to Cruz for a three. They needed it, and they got it. Big bucket for Cruz, his second three of the game. And now a turnover by Cobbin, and then or, uh, Lang, I should say. And Lang got it right back. Fortunate bounce by Lang oh, as it went off the knee of a Bonner player, and he's able to convert it for two points. Well, both the players ran past the ball, expecting the other one to get it. Doss fade and ah. fire from about 22 there. That's a big bucket. 13 point lead right now. And Lang trying to answer, not there. Doss in double figures. He's got 11. Cruz with 12. This is the pace they want to play at. Doss got it blocked by Cobbin. And it'll stay with the Braves at the baseline. Well, Doss trying to will his team back in here. Watch this nice step back three. That is a difficult shot. Falling backwards, able to knock that down and make it look easy. His Cruz on the inside, he gets the bucket to go. Yeah, Cruz using his right hand, little baby hook. Lead at 11. Braves want to get it down to the single digits on their home floor. So now the Ball was played out in this fourth quarter. Come out how they won. Nice pass, Cobbin finding Lang. That's a great, great look down low. Cobbin getting four assists. Now another turnover by the Braves, and Johnson makes them pay at the other end. Johnson is the game's leading scorer with 16. Well, just careless. With the basketball on this end of the floor, can have that if you're going to 
try and make a comeback. Yeah, too many turnovers, and now Graham with a three. That was a his big first shot. Points. Big shot by Graham. Usually plays in the post. That time stepping out, knocking that one down from deep. Yeah, we mentioned too many turnovers. 14 turnovers by the home team. And David Cobbin with a right hand baby hook. Yeah, he is nice. Smart player. Able to get his shot off at any level. And driving inside. Ball is tied up. And the arrow will stay with Bonner. As that was Wyatt Caldwell with the bully basketball on the inside. Cruz on the inbounds, the catch and shoot, and Lang ripping away the rebound, quickly running it up. Johnson trying to play it inside, and he is fouled. Looks like Caldwell. That's three on Caldwell on the Johnson pass. And Kalik Rainey will check in, and Caldwell will sub out with those three fouls. Wildcats, number 12 in the top 25, according to 810 of varsity. They're bold that they do. And here's Cobbin, the ball fake and finish. Man, he's so smart, so crafty, he gets in that lane. I mean. He's a 5'11 junior, and uh, really, Mid American Nazarene University has looked at him. and. I feel like he could play at a higher level than that, but uh, hey, you know, wherever you want to go, you go there, but he's just such a smooth, yeah. high basketball IQ guy. Now another turnover, David Cobbin, guess who, with the steal. He'll stop and go to oh, his teammate. And we've seen some of the best passing by number 24 in green, as that time he set the table for Baylor Bell. No. I think if you talk to Matt Rice, he knows defense. how good his junior guard is uh, all year. Yeah, take a look. Nice steal. The stop and look at that left hand pocket pass. That is a that is a difficult pass on any level. He just made it look super easy. Now I just want to make sure. You you're, you were quoted right. That first half pass, the bounce pass from about 40 feet, was the best pass we've seen all That's year. Best pass I've all seen right. all year. All right. Cruz attempted to take the three with his team down big, but going to run the set. Graham now out to Cruz on the other side for the three, and he buries it. Man, has a nice looking shot, Cruz, from deep. Cruz has. A game high now 17. Johnson with 16 on the DeSoto side, leading them in points scored. Now Johnson says, uh, he took the lead away from me. I'll take a shot, no good, and a rebounding foul on Bell. Just scratching his head and goes back on defense. Now that's Baylor Bell's third foul. He'll probably get subbed out. Yep, he is checking out of the lineup. And Antonio Sullivan. Playing some good basketball. Had 11 points in their ball game at Piper recently. Comes in and gets some minutes here in the third quarter. Underneath, Rainey the step, and he is fouled. Yes, your monitor is correct. You're, if you're watching this at home, Cobbin has green tips in his hair. <laughs> Man is all about the uh, school spirit as Rainey fouled in the act of shooting will shoot two. Kalik Rainey, 62% foul shooter. Averages three points per game, so he's above his scoring average. Wildcats and Trent Johnson out to Cobbin for three. Man. Nothing but the bottom of the well for David. 
Really impressed by this player. Great job by Johnson pushing it up, forcing the tempo in the kick out. Doss trying to answer. And here's David in the open floor, finding a teammate who gets rejected on the play as Hick, uh, Maddox Dow has just checked in the ball game and got his stuff sent to the uh, bleachers as he was rejected. That's not that's a rude uh, entry into the game, but Maddox will redeem himself out of the corner. Says, ah, oh, you're not blocking this three as he reins it in. The junior guard, three-point shooter off the bench. And Michael, it's a 20-point lead. I was worried if Bonner didn't hang around. Travel is the call on Rainey. And the Braves will turn it over. And they've had way too many turnovers tonight. And Coach Streit will take the time out to talk to his team. Yeah, too many turnovers. And the shooting is red hot for DeSoto. Great job. Only out of bounds. No one finds the shooter. And Dow knocks it down from deep to give the Wildcats a 20-point lead with 2.15 remaining here in the third quarter. And I need to ask you this one, Michael. Uh, Cobbin inbounded the ball on the three. Does he get a credit for an assist on that? He doesn't because he's out of bounds. All right. He's out of bounds. There you go, man. You know. He should, though. I mean, he set him up. Also, that know, inbound pass was good. I, but he's out of bounds. So if you're out of bounds. Now, I want you to go through your memory of point guards. You love the Olathe North point guard. Watson. Yeah, but this guy, he's what nice. about this guy? He's nice. I mean. The he, green tips and all? Both of them. I mean, they're, 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 they, they remind me of each other. Yeah, they what, do. What they do. They're so smooth in their face. Calm. Cool, yeah, never collected, rattle. yeah. Always head Classic, up, always yeah. looking for the the right play, whether it's a shot or whether it's a pass. You gotta love that about him. He's a complete player and defensively getting in the passing lanes as well. So just not doing it on the offensive end. So the watson Cobbin debate is Lang. Just a little stop and go and the defense wasn't there for the Jets to the basket. 16 now for the sophomore Lang. As here's Strite in the paint, off the mark. And the ball is, oh. The Soto folks thought it was off a Bonner Springs player. The official at the baseline and begged to differ. That is uh, Jackson Powers, the young official there. Cruz. Into the corner, and Price overshoots the three. Cobb in the miss. Offensive rebound, and a traveling call. That was uh, Charlie Wolobin, who's a sophomore that's just checked in the lineup. And he gets jostled around, and yeah. Chuck will get called for a walking violation. Cruz. And now Cruz, a steal at the other end, and then a foul. So, <clears throat> the bench players getting some time now for DeSoto. As we're seeing Wolleman. Dow, Sullivan getting time. Doss with a three, yes sir. Big shot for Doss. He's been so quiet in his third quarter, that time letting it fly from deep. Johnson, the take and the finish. Man, he is a tough player as well. Got Lang and Cobbin, but we've seen some great plays out of Johnson as well tonight. Yeah, he is their leading scorer. 
As Rainey with his second three of the game. Seven points for Kalik. As we wind down the third quarter, and the Braves didn't dent the uh, big lead for the Wildcats. Here's Dow with a three and a foul. Rainey with the foul and Maddox with his second three. Chance at the four point play. Man, that is just a tough shot by Max Dow. Gotta love it. So cool and collected, able to gather himself and knock down that three. Well, he comes in the game and gets his first shot swatted and then responds with a three out of the corner and now the four point play and Bonner Springs in trouble at home. And DeSoto, number 12 in our top 25, 810 varsity poll, rolling on the road. Recent winners of the UKC. Ivy scoring by quarters and well, Michael, we said uh, Bonner Springs needed a strong third quarter. 21, that's a pretty good quarter, but the problem is the visitors put up 26, their best quarter of the night. The Wildcats with the big lead as we go to the fourth. There you look at Coach Strite. Been coaching this team since 2012. Played college ball at the St. Mary's of the Plains in Dodge City. His wife played college ball as well. At KCK in Emporia State. So a lot of basketball in the family. His daughter is a freshman at Baser Linwood. She plays high school basketball there. Traveling is the call on uh, Wollaman. Charlie. Seen some minutes here, a 6'4 sophomore. And now a foul. Charlie on a reach in. Oh, correction, they called it. Let's see here, who did they call this on here? Max Johnson, who's just checked into the game. He got his. Uh... Take a look at it right here. Dolph with the penetration, dropping it off to Cruz. Takes the contact and gets the bucket. Cruz can't hit. Let me correct some. Max Johnson is 35. Charlie uh, Wollaban is a jersey number 55, so just correct some things before we check in with Dion. Well, guys, one thing that I think that for DeSoto with a 20-point lead here in the fourth quarter is some of these guys who are coming in the game that don't even get the minutes they normally do, this is a spot where they've got to be able to play without fouling. And so when they come in, they know they're going to get good minutes, you know, because there might be a spot where a guy has foul trouble and they're going to have to come in in big minutes in big games. So Lang with the bucket and will have a chance at the three-point play. Lang, 18. Johnson with 20. David Cobbin, 19. So balance and a lot of scoring tonight for the Wildcats. This young man, number 51, is a transfer from the Ukraine. We get out of the warring situation. Wish him all the best here in the United States. It's knocking down another three, and it's just. The Ukrainian kid is Dimitro Maslak. So we're getting everybody in the JV in the game tonight. This has turned into blowout city for Bonner Springs. That's a charge. As Doss with the player control offensive charge, no bucket, and we'll go the other way. Boy, get the rosters out, Michael. That is 
There you we'll go. See who's who here. Don't guarantee that I'll get the, the jersey number right, though. As they play out the string tonight. Like I said, once DeSoto gave Oak Park all they wanted early in the season, I said this team might be the real deal. It's hard to get back to the state tournament. It's hard to, to play second at state like they did last year. Cruz. And the Ukrainian can't stick it back in. Young man that did rowing. Very raw player. Said his English is very rough. So obviously a tough transition. He hasn't been in America that long. And a traveling violation. We'll give it back now to the Braves. Doss or Dow in for Trent Johnson, who's had a good ball game. Trent. I got Trent for 18 in my scorebook. Real solid ball game. And the Ukrainians. Nice. Mitro coming in and making a bucket. That's a big moment for him. He's able to get out of the Ukraine, the situation. A war going on there. And a running shot goes up and in by Blake Hicks. And besides, Michael, uh, Dimitro, you got to like the orange high socks. Yeah, you got to love that. To go with hair. the orange hair, yeah. And now the steal. Good defense there by the Braves. A JV game has suddenly broke out as it's put up and in by David Cobbin, who had to go get that one there. He, was, he called for it like he got that in his bag, though. Well, Caldwell trying to answer with a three and a rebounding foul on Cruz. It'll be DeSoto ball. Well, Dimitri right here in the lane gets to his spot on the floor, just raises up with the bucket. For two. Got to love it, getting out there, getting an opportunity to play. Max Johnson back out on the floor. Johnson, a good looking uh, sophomore. And there is Bell ringing the bell from deep. How about Baylor Bell? 30 point lead. Yeah. Guys really heated up from bonus distance. Ah, the Ukrainian. The spin, the turn. That's some nice moves, though, on the inside. Yeah. For a raw player that he is. Floater, nope. And now Cruz ahead of the pack. And he throws it down with a left hand. Ah, uh, okay. I see you, Cruz. Leads his team with 19. Bell feeling it and hitting it. Another three for Baylor Bell. Timeout DeSoto as they're running away on the road. They're going to go 2 0 on the road this week after a win at Topeka West and a win tonight in Bonner. Well, take a look at Cruz last time down the floor, gets the breakaway, finishing with the left. And then Bell from the corner knocking down his second three right in front of the Ukrainiac. All right, my guys out there finally. Charlie Wallaben. All right. Sometimes uh, these old eyes can't tell 35 from 55, but Charlie is in the game, so. Like I said, a full JV game has broke out here. As after a timeout, it'll be Bonner Springs ball. And they are down by 3-1, 31 points. And the big Ukrainian firing a three, no good. And it'll be DeSoto ball. 
Let's see, DeSoto has on the floor. They've got Max Johnson, Charlie Wollobin. Uh, who else? Blake Miller. And Sullivan, Antonio Sullivan, and Mad Max with a tough runner. His first points of the game. Well, the Ukrainian says, I'm going to keep shooting all night long here. That's right. Put it up. Dimitro is not shy. Sullivan short on the three. Braves quickly into the offense and turn it over. That's been their bugaboo tonight. A lot of turnovers. Nice pass Dow. And he sets the table for Blake Miller. And now Dow fouling to get a teammate in the ball game. And that is Ashton Shepard. Miller will check out. There's uh, number 22 in green, a junior, Ashton Shepard. One and one awarded to Patrick Price. Nine percent for Price from the foul stripe. DeSoto big ball game next Friday, the 24th, as they host Baser Linwood. A big rivalry game there. Tuesday, things don't get easier for Bonner Springs as uh, they're at Spring Hill. Johnson had it knocked away. Gets it back. And can't hit. Wollaben try to stick back. Near steal by Max. And they get a <laughs> shot up and it's rejected. Jermaine Wilson rejected by Shepard. And that smile says it all. Well, Shepard checks in the game like, uh-uh. I mean, he is so long. <laughs> What a closeout and block by Shepard. This one winding down, 10 seconds remaining. Yep. Corner jumper, shot long, and Bonner Springs will get blitzed at home by DeSoto again. DeSoto has owned them. And the final score is 86-53. And the win streak now at 11 for DeSoto. As they're 17-2, they just won the UKC, one of the more underrated teams in the city. Remember, they lost to Oak Park 51-47 earlier in the year. And Staley's the best team in the city. And then right after that, you got Lee Summer West and Oak Park. And DeSoto played right with them. Bonner drops to 12 and 6 as they try to bounce back Tuesday at Spring Hill. 86 to 53. It's a winner for the Wildcats on the road. Here's Dion. Here with David Coben, and you guys got up big in the first half, but you guys came out and put the pedal down, didn't you? Was that something you guys talked about at halftime? Um, we said that we can't let off the pedal. You know, we got to finish the game out 100%. Michael Watson has called your 40-foot bounce pass the best bounce he's seen all season. How fun was that? Um, it's, it's really fun. I'm just glad he finished the layup, you know. Yeah. As you guys kind of build, you got a big one, base for Linwood next week. What's the focus for this week? Um, just to get through, or, I mean, just play our game, you know, just trying to uh, finish. All right, well, good job. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Solid game tonight for DeSoto on the road. They win the conference on Tuesday and beat a rival down the street in Bonner Springs in impressive fashion. 86-53. Hy-Vee postgame is next.
No. Not like that. Well, DeSoto Michael gets a, a big victory on the road, and uh, their impressive season continues on. This was a, a big win, 86-53. Yeah, definitely come in and control the game from start to finish. Truly impressed by Coben for DeSoto. Operating on both ends of the floor, just a phenomenal young man. Special thanks to our school ADs, Michelle Magus and Doug Hitchcock, our coaches, Matt Rice and Dan Strider, producer Rick Willoughby from Michael Watson, Dion Clisso, our entire crew, Kevin White saying so long from the Bonner YMCA Braves Fieldhouse. It's a DeSoto road win, 86-53, as we say goodnight from Bonner Springs.